Hi, in this video, you will learn how to find relevant resources in the Globe Ethics Library on ethics and standards in higher education. As a start, let us type, for example, quality education in the search bar as a simple search. Do not forget to add quotation marks around the expression when you have more than one word in your queries. And search. To narrow the search for more precision, click on Show Advanced Filters. From the drop-down list here, you can select the category you want to focus on. For example, let us select Keywords and let us write Higher Education and click on Apply for searching. For your information, clicking on the plus sign here will allow you to add more filters while this minus sign will allow you to remove filters. For example, add a filter, select Publisher and let us write Globe Ethics. Also, to narrow your search even more, you can go on the left-hand side of the page and select the facet of your choice with the number of results of this respective facet. For example, just scroll down and under Document Type, click on Book. From this search, let us sort by date to have the most recent resources. Just click on the little wheel here and select Issue Date Descending. And let us open this Globe Ethics publication. Here, you can see the basic information of this record, including the digital object identifier, as well as the copyright license mentioned in here. And on this page, you can do the following. Click on the image of the book to see and download it, or Click on the Download tab here to download it directly. And you can also export for your references by just clicking on Export, selecting the format. And just so you know, should you want to export on Zotero, you need to select the format Refman or Biptex. If you scroll down and click on Show Full Item Record here, you can see the complete metadata of this record, including the information shown previously. You can also browse our collections by clicking on Communities and let us click on Educational Collections and, as collections on this topic, you can explore the Research Ethics Collection in which you can see Research Ethics Philosophical, Research Ethics Professional and Research Ethics by Disciplines. Also, the Educational Resources and the Ethics in Higher Education collection. Let us search in the Ethics in Higher Education collection as an example. For searching in the collection, type keywords in the search bar here and search as shown earlier when searching in the whole library. But now, let us scroll down a little and have a look at the Credo reference titles here. To access these resources, you must be registered to access them. So, let us click on one of the titles, such as the Sage Handbook of International Higher Education, sign in with your Globethics credentials, your email and password you send to Globethics to register, and once you are signed in, click on the online access link. In the Credo References platform, you can see the Encyclopedia homepage, and if you scroll down to see and read the articles, you can Either check the table of content and directly click on these articles, which are classified in sections such as contextual, conceptual and historical frameworks. And for example, let us click on this article. And in there, you can use the following features, especially the feature Cite, Read aloud if you would like it to be read out loud, or Translate choosing from the list here. You could also click on the tab Articles here, and you can see here the sections in the table of contents classified in alphabetical order with the respective articles in there, such as contextual, conceptual and historical frameworks in, this, in the letter C. And you can see here the article that was explored just before, which you can click on 
and see the same article page as previously. And just above, you could also search within this title by entering keywords or search terms for your research. Now, at the top, you can also search on this search bar for searching an encyclopedia as a whole, such as, for example, Research Integrity. And from these, you can see the articles of this search in which you can click on, such as this one. And you will see the same features as in the other article we opened at first. You can also click on More Library Resources, where you can see the Directory of Open Access Journals, Google Books, BBC News or Wikimedia Commons. Now, let's go back to the communities. At the beginning of this tutorial, in the Simple Search section, we had, as a result, a book published by Globethics, and this is just to show you that we also have our own Globethics collections, in which you can find the Globethics publications, classified by series, and that you can explore. There are also journals that we harvest, and these can be consulted. Just go back to Communities and click on Journals A to Z. For example, let's have a look at Open Praxis. You can find the articles by keywords by just typing keywords in here, or searching by publication date or by title. And here you have the articles from this journal. And let's click on this one. And click on online access and here you can see the article from the journal platform that you can read online and download just by clicking on this tab now you may be curious about other resources that cannot be found in our library so here are some and important open access databases you, will, you may want to use starting with the open access aggregators they are core Open University UK, ACE, Bielefeld Academic Search Engine, Dimensions, Digital Science, OSF Preprints, and Semantic Scholar, Alien Institute for AI. You are invited to check all the open access aggregators mentioned here, but let us check one of them. Let us check Semantic Scholar. And in here, you can search by keywords. For example, let us type academic integrity and higher education. And from these results, sorted by relevance, let us select this one. Here, you can see the abstract, the basic information, the DOI just above that you could click on, as well as the citations that you could also have a look at. Let us continue with exploring the directories such as Open DOAR, Open Repositories, Directory of Open Access Books, Directory of Open Access Journals, Registry of Research Data Repositories, or Wikidata. Let us check the Directory of Open Access Books. Let's type Academic Integrity. And you can see here that you can use the advanced filters And you could also export the resources for your bibliographies. And now, let us sort these 21 results by issue date descending. And let us scroll down. Let us click on this book as an example. And from this page, you can see the metadata for this record. And you can download it from this link. And finally, let us have a look at the platforms where you can connect with peers, other researchers, for more resources, such as academia.edu, ResearchGate, Humanities Commons, or SSRN, Social Science Research Network. Let us check SSRN. In the search bar here, let us type Academic Integrity. From these results, 
You can click on the author's name of an article of your choice, such as this one. And from here, you can see their university background, their contact details here that you can consult and contact from here, as well as the papers that you can also consult. Also, you may notice from this figure that this article is the most downloaded article on this topic of academic integrity. And just so you know, in the Globe Ethics Library, the authors can be featured with their profile. For example, to see the author's profile, go under Profiles here, click on View, and here you can search for authors or you can directly click on one. For example, Equia Mele. And in the description, there are the biography and the institutional profile, as well as the publications from this author that you can check and download. And from these, you are invited to register to the Globe Ethics Library for you to be part of the Globe Ethics Researchers Network. This would be a great opportunity to have your work visible to the public and also have your voice in the discourse on ethics, in particular on ethical leadership. I hope you found this tutorial helpful for starting researching on this topic, ethics and standards in higher education. Thanks for watching and enjoy using Globe Ethics Library.